Well, austerity is not a new idea. Governments have cut back on public expenditure at different times throughout the post-war period. The thing about today is that we are in one of the most unequal societies of the present century. In fact, people are often surprised when I say to them that levels of income inequality in Britain today are as high as they were in the days of Downton Abbey. And that's an astonishing level of inequality. So if you start cutting back on public services and public expenditure in that context, then you've got to be concerned uh, and you've got to look at how it's impacting on the poorest people. Austerity is really important. It's important to study. It's an important topic because although it affects all of us, and I mean all of us, it often is quite invisible. It's very hard to actually trace it where the cuts are happening, to what budgets, in what way, how, how does it affect us all. It's really difficult, even as academics, to trace that through to the local level. And so one thing we wanted to do was to really make this visible. And so one way in which we're doing that is through the play. Sort it, boxer. I only spent 200. Work out what I owe and I'll pay it. Oh yeah, he can sort it. He's a miracle worker. It's not me, mate. Look, Paradise takes it from here. I'm just the collector. But I don't want the money. I can't. I, can't. I won't be able to. I can't. Well, Forum Theatre is a part of what's called the Theatre of the Oppressed. This comes from a Brazilian theatre director called Augusto Boal. The forum side of it involves creating a play which is more a provocation to an audience because the aim of it is really to get the audience involved in solving what goes wrong in the story. So the audience change from being an audience to what Boal calls spectators. And I'm there to, to encourage the audience to, to question what went on. With the forum side of the play, um, it's very interesting because it's really unpredictable. You just have to kind of be open to what people say. And when people start asking you questions about your character, being able to fire back and also questioning the audience's views. It's making people think and it's making it's it's engaging people it's taking in these questions of austerity particularly to do with care to do with precarious work to do with housing to do with debt it's putting them in this fictional context and we want the audience to be provoked to want to get involved in the second half of the evening i think it makes it much more real much more personal um, sort of engaging than sort of something that we might dismiss in a newspaper article, for example. I wasn't sure how, how it would go for the second half, but everyone got straight into it, and that's really a testament to both the performance and the way it obviously provoked people to want to do something. What was fantastic was how engaged the audience got. I mean, when do you go to the theatre and see people kind of going, no, me, stop, you know, and, that, and that's really, really exciting just to see people so engaged and actually thinking about what's going on. There was one girl sitting in the back row and we were, we were playing a scene and she was twitching and she was just, she was looking around and she desperately wanted someone else to intervene so that she didn't have to get up. There was nobody saying anything. It's, it just had to be said. There's like a, it's an infectious atmosphere. But eventually she was just like, no, stop, stop. Uh, it was incredibly moving. It, it was very nuanced. It showed the pressure on everybody. It wasn't just the pressure on the main character or the characters suffering from pressure. It's really trying to see also what people think about austerity as something is it natural? Is it, is it the only choice open to us as a society? Austerity is not inevitable. I think it's really important to remember that austerity is a political choice. People have been very passionate for somehow imagining a different way of doing things, a different way of organizing our society. And a lot of people have been blaming the, the misfortunes of the characters upon, upon the system or upon capitalism and, you know, understandably want to change it there and then. Others have honed in on the actual behavior of the characters 
within the, the microcosm of their world. And it's so easy to put all the blame on one person for what happened to the characters in their downward spiral in the show, but you can't because it's not their fault really. It was interesting being in the shoes of the character to, un to start to think about how it actually might feel rather than just being on the outside, being able to say, well, that shouldn't have happened and that shouldn't have happened. Strangely, the play doesn't actually mention austerity once. However, the characters are under the, the gun of austerity and they are living and working and surviving under the regime of austerity. And I think that's what's interesting for, for Mir and Susan to try to get across to an audience. I think my fear as an academic when I started this project was that perhaps audiences wouldn't intervene, wouldn't be interactive, that they would need a lot of coaxing. And the opposite was true. In the play, they relished clearly the opportunity to come in and change what was going on, to direct, to uh, give advice to the characters. People know much more than you think. They have many more sensible ideas than I think policymakers give them credit for. And most importantly, not only do they have a really good grasp of what's wrong, they also have some really fantastic ideas about how to put those things right. We really were able to create a whole that was bigger than the sum of its parts, that the academic world came together with the theatre world to create something that neither could do alone, it was greater than that. And to be able to expand that in scale and scope would be enormously exciting. It's a short play, it's powerful and it's been tremendously successful in hooking in new ideas about policy directions that we can build on. And in particular, I'm impressed with the way that this production has made me think about the links between what I know in my head and what I feel as a human being in my heart. Thank you.